Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as we're going to go over this one, remember when we're looking to solve our trigonometric graphs, the main important thing is we want to look at these, just kind of pretend them just as you know, our regular equations. Get However you would solve this with x's and y's, apply those same operations, apply your inverse operations, and so forth. All right? But we need to isolate the trigonometric function. Then once we isolate the trigonometric function, we can go back to our unit circle or the graph to help us find the solutions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to combine my, um, get my trigonometric functions on the same side. So I'll add sine of x on both sides. Well, sine of x plus sine of x is 2. Oh, I Very good. So now what we need to do is, again, we still need to, Kelsey, we still need to go ahead and isolate this sine. So I need to divide by the 2. And therefore, I have sine of x equals the square root of 3 over 2. Well, no, it's, it's, just, like tri it's just like regular equations. And I, and I told you guys, when you guys get stuck on your homework, don't worry if you have to just think about this as just a regular equation with x's. Right? And, just solve, and just solve for the x, because you're going to have to apply factoring. You're going to have to use inverse operations. Yes, Kelsey. Huh? Sure, what am I going to say next to do? Right. Correct. And we'll, look at our, and we'll look at the three major points of our first quadrant, right? Because I haven't made you guys memorize the whole unit circle. I said, focus on this first quadrant, and let's look at that. So we know he, this point is square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half. Square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2. And this one is 1 half, comma square root of 3 over 2. This angle is pi over 6. This angle is pi over 4. This angle is pi over 3. Right? We all need to be able to at least create that when we take a test or our exam so we can at least say, all right, there's our first quadrant. So the angle that our sine is going to be square root of 3 over 2, tj is? TJ, the angle where pi sine? TJ. Pi over 3. Very good. You guys can see that that is where my y coordinate is square root of 3 over 2. However, as we mentioned, this is not the whole unit circle. This is the first quadrant. Right? So there's another point we need to look for to see where it will be. Yes, Jessica? 2 pi over 3. Very good. You guys look at that angle, which is 2 pi over 3. That point is negative 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. So at both of those coordinate points where the angle intersects the unit circle, the point um, for the y coordinate is square root of 3 over 2. Therefore, our solutions is x equals um, our angles pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3. Now, did this problem, did it say find all the solutions or find the solutions between 0 and 2 pi? I don't remember in the book. What is the book's directions? Do they say find all the solutions or just find the solutions between 0 and 2 pi? OK, so what we'll do is we'll solve it for both of them. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our solutions between 0 and 2 pi. Right? Because these are your two solutions. Remember, all the way around a circle is 2 pi, right? So these are the solution. Here's your two um, solutions be between, the um, between the constraint of 0 and 2 pi, which we can call our unit circle. However, if I said find all the solutions, the way that I looked at this is, remember, we can look at coterminal angles. And if I have pi over 3, to find the next solution, I'm going to have to add 2 pi. And I can continue adding 2 pi as many times as I need. The same thing, yeah, you can go get it. Same thing for 2 pi over 3. You can go and add, keep on adding. Um, coterminal angles of 2 pi over 3. Oh, hold on. Go back around that way. So, to find all of the solutions, I could say x equals pi over 3 plus 2 pi n, comma, 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi n. And that is for all the solutions. Now, remember, on your test, there will be some problems where I say find the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. And there will also be problems where I say, hey, just give me all of the solutions. So you have to be able to know how to differentiate between the two and use which one you want to. OK? Any last questions? Good. Yes? Um, like a little letter right there in, yesterday we used, I meant the other term. R. Used R. Yep. And I've used K before, too. It's the same thing. And I'm going to keep on using different letters so you guys can understand that the variable just represents how many times you can, how many times